what's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> I'm scared my hair. Now. He's like, whoa. Yeah, it's like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bomb digging right there. So welcome yeah. to another episode of Fat Chat Live. I'm super glad to have my friend Mahir here today. He has, he and I have talked several times. We finally were able to land the plane and get a chance to do the show together today. I've been super busy lately and he's been super graceful and gracious. I appreciate that. Welcome to Matt Chat Live. Thank you, Matt. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, you're so welcome. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? So uh, I moved eight years ago from Lebanon to Vancouver, BC, uh, and working in the HR field. Currently, I'm a recruiter for a manufacturing uh, company. Uh, we've been growing, uh, even during COVID time, we've been growing and hiring a lot. Uh, on a side hustle, I have a YouTube channel where I interview experts like Matt and our other people, where they give tips to job seekers in terms of you know resume, networking, personal branding, content creation. I've been doing that for almost three years and a half, and it's been growing. And I'm very happy to be here and share some knowledge with you guys. Awesome, thank you, and thank you for that. I, I have been on the hair show already, and he did so good. He posted it every day, he put it out <laughs> everywhere, did this whole thing. It was it was really great, man. You're doing, you're doing some great work there. And by the way, folks, if you want to have a chance to share some of that with Meher, he'd he'd be happy to talk with you about that and get get you on his show and his YouTube channel and Instagram and LinkedIn. He does the whole yeah. thing. So that's a lot yeah, of work. Anytime, there. So, I'm here to have. Yeah, thank you. So you moved from Lebanon to to Canada, yeah? Yes. A, 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 to all my Canadian friends out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost eight years ago. Yeah, it's been a it's been a journey. Like I feel it now. I feel like Vancouver, Canada is my home now. It's mm. been ups and downs. You know, as a new immigrant, I have a lot of difficulties in finding jobs, a lot of networking, a lot of connections. I also did a a, a certificate just to have you know common knowledge of here in, in Canada about HR related, and I was persistent. And yes, I have some dark days, some stressful and uh, down, down days, but I was aiming for the future and aiming that I will be successful here. No, that's so good. I'm glad you brought that up because I have, I've had several friends that are not in Canada. Uh, one really dear friend of mine, she lives in Dubai and she's an incredible, incredible woman. She's, she, lives, uh, she works in the HR field as well. But work isn't that great right now in Dubai, unfortunately. It's a very small place, and there's a lot of people there, and there's only so many jobs to go around. And uh, her mm -hmm. whole family is uh, is working to to migrate to Canada, and uh, they mm -hmm. have some opportunity there. And it takes about a little over a year for the process to to work for people to move. And uh, there is another uh, guy here on LinkedIn, a friend of mine. His name is uh, Brian. And Brian just works specifically with people that are that are actually moving, like from from overseas, other companies like you from Lebanon to Canada, trying yeah. to get job placements and get uh, transition. Brian uh, Golad is his name. He's a, an incredible man, does incredible mm -hmm. work for folks. And you know, I'm kind of thinking about that journey for you from Lebanon to Canada, those eight years ago, and your transition across. Mm -hmm. um, did you just come to try to start again and just try to find a job, or did you? Have something kind of lined up already, or were you HR in Lebanon and wanted HR in Canada? How that all oh, worked? Yeah, I was in H Yeah, I was in HR in Lebanon, and me and my partner we came here, and I said, "How difficult it will be! I'll find something to do." Right? I think I was a little bit naive, uh, and yeah, when I landed, you know, I didn't have any language issue or ev even educational issue because I had a master's degree, and the and the degree was uh, validated here. My issue was Canadian experience, local experience, which sometimes I feel it's kind of a way for recruiters or even companies saying that we don't trust you or we don't know you. Although they, they preach about diversity and inclusion, but in reality, when it comes, oh, oh you're not like us or we don't, we don't know about you. So I felt that was a little bit contradiction for me. But what I did, okay, I ask, I, I ask a lot of people, I network a lot. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> and dropped out there. I told yeah. you, okay, what do I need to, yeah, what do I need to do to find HR in a uh, job in HR? And they told me, okay, do a certificate, go to a lot of networking events, and you will find a job. So that's what I did. 
I did the certification. I went to a lot of events. Uh, I networked a lot. I asked, I knocked a lot of doors. And my first HR job was through networking. Someone knew someone that they were hiring and they recommended me. And what happens is that they just put my name in front of them and the rest was on me. You know, it's nothing that they pushed me uh, uh, and gave me all the job without any interview. No, I did the interview. I did all the, all the work. But it just with the referral, the, my my resume was on top of other people who applied. That's how I came. So I also get a lot of people reaching out to me, you know, from India or from Latin America or other places asking they want to move here. I always tell them, you know, uh, make update your resume, network a lot. Nowadays, it will be always uh, online. And... A lot of companies will not hire someone that's coming from outside. So even let's say I'm coming in eight months, they will tell you, okay, once you arrive and once you landed, reach out to me. But I would say is that prepare, build those relationships because you cannot mm -hmm. directly ask someone, can you hire me? I need a job. Can you hire me? You need to build that relationship. I feel that that's something that job seekers are forgetting about. So building those relationships, especially uh, online it's very important these days having those relationships built before coming here yeah so that's a great question mahar is that mahar that when you are trying to build those relationships but you're coming from india or lebanon or whatever and you don't have a job you've got no money <laughs> you've got yeah. maybe a little bit of a bank but um that can be frustrating um scary stressful yeah uh, um, yeah so i would say at the beginning take a long time yeah. for you get a job right yeah, yeah. I would say at the beginning, you need to have survival job. I did a survival job. I was in a warehouse. I was waking up at 5 a.m. to be there at 6.30 till 2.30. And then when I went home, I was searching and searching for jobs and networking. Yeah, there will be hard days. It's not that the jobs are waiting for you, especially nowadays with COVID. There's a lot of more candidates out there than, uh, than the jobs, right? So I would say have two kind of resumes, one that for your career, and the other one will be like a survival job, any job that you can get, because you also need to pay the bills. And also getting that for your first job will be your Canadian experience, which it means that you can speak with other people from different backgrounds, from different culture, you can have those conversations. So I would say people have to have that mindset that yes, at the beginning, it will be difficult to find a job in my career and but uh, you have to be persistent and everyone told me like at the beginning give yourself a time give yourself maybe one year and see how it goes and it, it actually took me maybe around nine months to find a job in HR and then it, it went all at the beginning I had survival job in a warehouse anything to do a retail job anything you need to do to get the foot on the door yeah. Wow. That's such a good point, Maher, that some people probably don't think of, especially if you're desperate or you're really so stuck in like your identity is I'm HR. I'm a, I don't I don't do warehouses. I'm HR. Right. Mm -hmm. And not really being willing to invest in yourself and make yourself a better HR person. So do you think you're a better person in HR now working at a company in Canada uh, than you would have been the same Maher in, in Lebanon? I would say yeah, because back in my country, I was dealing maybe with two or three people in terms of culture and uh, ethnicity. Here, I'm dealing with more people. I'm so I'm exposed more, and I can able to deal with different people from different backgrounds. My soft skills are better. You know, the emotional intelligence which also is important. Uh, making sure that I put myself in other people's uh, places and understand what they're going through. So I feel that yeah, I'm more rounded now. I'm more exposed to from different people than back in my home. Yeah, I can imagine now just sitting where you're talking, thinking about it, like I could probably come to your HR door, right? You probably got people like this that are going, Maher, yeah. hey, uh, can we talk? <laughs> you got five minutes, can we talk, right? I bet you that goes on often for you, doesn't it? Oh yeah, my door is always open and I say I'm here to help you guys. And as an HR person, we're here for the employees, not the other way around. We make sure that the culture is good for them, make sure that we're here to support them. And if they have any issues, we're here to help. So that's what do you why I feel that helping people, people that consider HR to be the enemy. They they feel that's not necessarily true. 
How can you, how can you, how can somebody combat that? Not you personally. How can, how can an HR yeah. world combat the fact that, oh my God, got to go to HR or look out and that person from <laughs> HR is coming down the hallway, you know? Yeah. What did I do? What did I do? Right. Yeah. So we always said, and, and all we can in the beginning, you know, the onboarding, how you treat people, the candidate experience, I feel that's very important. So whenever we are bringing people in, we always make sure that, that they are welcoming, uh, make sure that if they have any issues or uh, any concerns, our doors are open. We have an open door policy. You can knock the door to anyone and have us questions. I And yeah, sorry. And that's why we're getting a lot of referrals because people are happy here and they want their friends to come and work here. So we're getting a lot of referrals. I think ha having that great culture and values that we've created here is helping. Yeah, that's a that's a good point too. That's fantastic. And congratulations to you for that. And I would say that if you're seeing a company that is successful, that people want to work at, that probably means HR is is good. They're doing a good job there, right? They're doing their job too. So that's uh, that kudos to you and anybody here that's watching that lives in HR world and can understand the whole person going, hey, can I talk for a minute? Can I, I bought you yeah. I bought you some lunch today. I got you some coffee because I screwed up, right? And then you got other people think, <laughs> I don't want to talk to him today. I don't want to see his face. I can't stand him, blah, 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 right? But, you know, you got all of it, but it's a matter of the passion you have for the job. Yeah, we, also make sure, we also make sure that, yeah, we also make sure that we understand the people. So we started having kind of a events board. So today we are celebrating Chinese New Year's Eve, Chinese New Year's Day. So we're posting a lot of information that next week we're having something other events. So diversity and inclusion is becoming very big important part here. We also put at the entrance big uh, word map and everyone comes, they pin wherever they are from so that they know where our, where, where our workforce is, which is very diverse and we are being very, uh, understanding supporting also in the launch we're putting a lot of flags from people where they are so that they, they can connect because mm -hmm. uh, it's not just important to bring people in you also have to nurture them uh, retain them and feel kind of a belonging because actually we work more or we spend a lot of hours here at work than at home yeah yeah that's true you got more relationships there than you usually do when you're at your own house right you, you probably eat and sleep more at your house than you yeah. <laughs> you do your living at work <laughs> so uh, it's so important, right? Yeah, 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 no doubt. Well, that's been amazing. And uh, so we talked on the front side. You've got a, a little show that you do where you're, you're highlighting people and sharing some people's information and, and, and what they do in the world, which I think is fantastic. You're able to do that. So before we go, can you can you share with folks how they can find you and where they find the content you do and where all that stuff? Yeah, for sure. You can reach me on LinkedIn, Meher Mardoyan. Uh, or you can type on YouTube, Meher Mardian Career Coach, uh, and you can find me, reach me. If you have any questions or any help in your job search, I'm here. Or if you're applying to any jobs in Canada and you're interested in a specific company, let me know if I know anyone there. I can make an introduction because that's what I found my job and I want to give back. And that's why one of my mission is that to help people and give back to the community. So reach me on all the social platforms. I'm here to help. Oh, that's so fantastic. Thank you so much for that. I know it's going to be very helpful to a lot of people. It's definitely something that I run into quite often mm -hmm. with folks that are in need. And to just have somebody you can ask a question to, or maybe somebody will say, you know, I actually know a person here that you might be able to talk to. It goes right back to what yeah. you said in the first place, which was you shook some hands, you knocked on some doors, you networked, and now look at you. You're not in the warehouse anymore, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> no. you, know, you just again, try to help people. Very yeah, it's very important to nurture those relationships. You know, not if, let's say you ask for a favor, don't stop it there. Continue the, building that relationship, you know, because people will remember you and people will remember how you treat them. That's important that job seekers should understand. It's not just one time uh, event. You never know how the world can turn and one day you need to return the favor or the other way around. So just continue building those relationships. Like what I'm doing with Jumex. So we spoke, we did the interview, but we continue talking. Hi, how are you? Or I interact with your content. That's what, that's what, that's are the part that's very important that job seekers to, should take into consideration also. Yeah, absolutely. If you're just out for yourself, it doesn't really go very far. But when you bring other people into your life and, and you're willing to be in theirs, uh, lots can happen. 
<laughs> so that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mahar. I'm so glad you're here today, and for you doing uh, Mahar, Mahar. I, I keep saying your name. <laughs> so uh, I'm just so glad you're no, doing what you're no doing. Way. And uh, <laughs> thanks for that. And uh, man, congratulations! And I hope that you are able to continue to be a rock star like you are up there in Canada, right above a couple miles above my state of North Carolina here in the United States. But uh, yeah, you know, a little bit far. Is it cold here today? Yeah, today is the coldest day. It was minus five in the morning when I woke up, and <laughs> yeah, you and stay there. I'll stay right behind. Hey, I'll, I'll stay right down here. I'll stay right down here. It was like <laughs> it was cold today too. It was like forty degrees, but you know, I'll take forty over negative five. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. And welcome here anytime. Oh, when the COVID is over, we can meet in person. Yeah, I love to. I love to visit it. Just as long as I'm going to stay there, it'd be great. That's, that's yeah, very cold. nice. Very clean. Very. Very friendly uh, people we are here. Yeah, we. I love Canada. By the way, a little quick plug at the end. We, my family and I, we went to. I took the kids to see Niagara Falls. They had never been there before. And then, uh, you know, we had to walk the bridge to go to Canada. You know, flip to the other side. Yeah. And they're like, I, I said, you guys. They're like, we're in another country. I mean, it's like there's America. There's, it's like, but we're really in another country, right? So it was really a cool experience, and everybody was great. We had a good time. We had good food and did some sightseeing and stuff. It was. It's 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 a beautiful country, and I'm so glad you got a chance to be there. Yeah. So thanks again, Mayor. I'm glad you're here today, and I'm glad you have a chance to reach out to other people and let them reach out to you. Thanks for offering okay. that to folks. Sure. Yeah. Thank you All for right. the Thank invite. You. Thank you. For, yeah. 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 Bye, everyone. Hey guys. Hope to have you back on another episode of Matt Chat Live. All right. Talk y'all later. As soon as we. Thank you.